Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase. Today I'm going to show you how to make a soundboard. And you may be thinking, a soundboard? That sounds... BORING! But I guarantee you, if you stick with it, there'll be a few times where we say... Go! But at the end, we'll say... Woohoo! And of course, finally, we'll say... I'm going to drink a lot of beer and stay out all night! So let's get into it. So the concept of a soundboard is pretty simple. You take a bunch of small samples and then you load them in and then you can play them back. And it's great for live applications and you hear it a lot of times in radio and stuff and uh, in prank calls and stuff, you make soundboards. But there's a million reasons and a million applications for this, mainly with being able to sample whatever you want. And there is a way to record your desktop audio into Cubase and I've done a tutorial on that and I'll throw it up in one of these corners, but it's not the easiest way, so I'm going to show you the way that I get the samples, and then we'll move from there. So let's jump into the computer, but we're not jumping into Cubase. We're actually jumping into a program called Audacity, and it is free. I'll link that up in the description. It's freeware, and it's open source, and it's awesome. It's available on Mac, PC, Linux. It's available everywhere. It's a fantastic uh, tool, especially to record your desktop audio. Now, the way that I record desktop audio, my settings are I use Windows Wasapi as my sound source, and then as my recording input, I use the line out of my interface, the Scarlet 2i4, and then we can monitor it. So I don't typically like to record copywritten material, so what I will do is start recording, and I'll record one of my own videos. Howdy, partners. Steinberg just released Cubase 9.5. And today, we're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the buggy. That's enough of that, and we can stop this, and then I'll just export it. Uh, you just export audio, and here's my soundboard folder, and we'll call this uh, soundboard tutorial. We'll save. I don't really care about the meta on it. So now if we know where that is in our file system, we just import it. And I'll just convert it to the project rate. So it's in the project now. This is what we recorded. And there's two ways you can do it. You can chop it up from within Groove Agent. I find it way easier to chop it up in Cubase. So if I want that to be where the sample ends, I'll turn off Snap. I'll choose my cutting tool. And with Snap Off, we'll just snap it there. Uh, we'll open up Cubase here. And we'll reset all pads. And so this first pad will just drag what we did into Cubase. And now we have that. But we clearly want that to start a little bit quicker. So here in uh, Groove Agent, Move the start point to right there, and we can fade it in with the this handle right here. And so now the sample will be much quicker. And let's grab that Howdy Partners now. Howdy Partners. And we'll take that and we'll cut it there. We'll move that into the pad. Howdy Partners. Howdy Partners. Great, and now let's grab this one. We'll cut that there. We'll move it onto the pad. There it goes. Steinberg just released Cubase 9.5. We'll call that good there. We'll drag it in. And if you notice on this fourth pad, there's a little bit of flute tailing. Steinberg just released Cubase 9.5. So what we'll do is 
adjust the sample start. Steinberg just released Cubase 9.5. And we did it. So this is a very simple technique. What you do is you use a program like Audacity to record your desktop audio, and then you move that into a program like Cubase where you chop it up and you add it to the pads on Groove Agent, and before you know it, you have yourselves a soundboard. But if we wanted to save this, save kit as, uh, see, I have it saved as Homer Cartman Trump VST preset, but I can save this as uh, tutorial, good, bad, tutorial soundboard. Okay, so when we open up a new instance of Groove Agent, and there's no kit loaded, we just have to search for it. Tutorial soundboard, and it'll load with all of our samples. Pretty cool, huh? So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe for some more sick content, bros, and hit that bell for notifications, do whatever it is you do on YouTube, and most importantly, take care of yourselves, everyone. Peace.